Industrial robots are changing the way we make virtually everything, from the manufacturing of computer chips to the way we make cars. Robots aren't the whole story. How data is created, collected, and interpreted has fundamentally changed the way we live. And now, those same changes are happening in construction. as we want to build more precise buildings that function better, that work better, that meet energy codes. We've got to build at a precision level that's hard to do with a skill saw and, an, and a nail gun on a site when it's raining. Using robotics, it allows us to assemble more pieces and more complex pieces that in totality result in higher performing building components. Architects and engineers now have access to powerful parametric software that can create and analyze complex geometries. When parametrics give you great control over the geometry, the next challenge is moving it into construction because you need the accuracy in construction to be the same as the accuracy in the geometry that you have when you design. At the Center for Advanced Wood Processing in Vancouver, researchers from the University of British Columbia and the University of Waterloo are working with Intelligent City a local leader in mass timber construction to make robotic fabrication more accessible. There's a difference between what can be designed on paper or in software and what can actually be, be manufactured. We're looking at very free-form geometries, very curvy and expressive geometries, but it's very much the same as it were to be designed in house. Now, what's really cool about this computational process is that we can manipulate and if I change that house and it's not 8 by 10 meters, all of those elements are also correlated to that, so they will adjust. So if my door needs to be in the center and I change the length, that door will move and align itself to the center of that house. Normally, this is something that we do in design, which is called associative design or parametric design. But here, we're also connecting that to the manufacturing. So we can take that wall digitally and put it flat in a way that then can be manufactured. Robotic fabrication is not only meant to automate existing processes, but to augment what we can do and further to introduce new processes that were not possible previously.